So, it's decided. We're off to be pampered. You know, this spa is where all the film stars go. Oh, I didn't know you cared about celebrities. Oh, there's a few things you don't know about me. No, of course I don't care about film stars. I care about you and I and the time we're going to spend together. Now, about your wardrobe. What's wrong with it? Uh, well, nothing's wrong with it. I mean, I, well, knowing you, you haven't bought yourself a new frock since the wedding. Well, yes, I've had other things on my mind. Well, yes, I know, but... Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping right now. I saw some shops on the way here. Uh, Pine Street. Was it Pine yes, Street? Pine Street. But you know in America you go to the mall. The mall? Well, fine. We'll go to the mall when in Rome. Come on. Let's go, all right? All right. Good. And you know what? Everything's on me. Everything? Oh, now I know something's terribly wrong. Well, all right. So I was a bit of a penny pincher when you were growing up. But well. you know, I was very concerned about your father's illness and... Uh, I mean, I was the only breadwinner. Oh, winner. please, I don't well, want to go through this. Well, I know, but I mean, I had to protect the both of you. I know you had all the responsibility of keeping us all going. I did appreciate it, you know. I do love you for it. I just wish things had been different. What's wrong? I mean, you would tell me if you were ill, wouldn't you? Nothing's wrong. I mean, I... I I just want us to have many years to spend with one another. You know how cruel fate can be? One doesn't know what's going to happen. Oh, Edmund, are you all right? You look... I just saw a ghost. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I think I just stayed in the mausoleum maybe a oh, too long. Oh, I know. Some strange emotions can take you over there, can't they? It's a dangerous place to be alone. Would it be all right if we went shopping another time? I mean, keep Ed and company tonight. But he just said he was all right. Oh, I mean, I was so looking forward to going to an American mall. You don't mind, do you? you um, would you... Keep me coming in, yes. I, I'd, I'd love to really get the All chance right. to know you. That's settled, then. We're going to have a quiet evening in. Good. We'll have plenty of time to spend together. Mum and I have decided to take a quick vacation. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, when did you decide that? Just now. My mother thinks that I need to be pampered at a <laughs> spa. We've never been away on holiday, just the two of us. Well, since ever. I don't think ever. <laughs> It's true. Mm, sorry? Yeah, um, it's true. You have, we should spend some time together. I'm just wondering, is, is now the right time? Well, my daughter's been under a lot of stress. Yeah, which is why she should stay, you know, close to home where I can keep an eye on her. Well, she's going to be with her mother. Oh, you know, this is very flattering, but I don't want you two to fight about. We're not fighting. I don't fight. I, and I don't know when I'm actually going to get the time to go because I've got to clear my schedule with David. But you're co-founder of the organization. I mean, you don't have to get permission from him. I guess not. You know, um, that reminds me. Um, did you get that message uh, from the hospital? Stella told me about it. From David? Uh, I'm not sure. I think she put it in the living room. God, what does he want at this time of night? Um, I better go and check that. I'll be right back. Well, it's good timing. Why don't you ask Dr. Haywood for some time off? I will. Edmund, dear. You know, I appreciate you wanting to protect Alexandra. She's in terrible need of protection. Not from me. Alexandra will be quite safe with me. Will she, Charlotte? I don't know what you mean. I'm her mother. Of course she'll be safe with me. I mean, you know that, Edmund. We can't find Stella or a message or David Hayward, for that matter. Well, then it couldn't have been very important. Are you getting to know each other? Oh, yes. We both agree that we want what's best for you. We just can't seem to agree on what that necessarily is. Hmm. Edmund seems to feel that you'll fall apart without him. No, that's not, that's not what I said. I'm not going to fall apart. I know, and you won't. I'm, I'm just... Just think under the present circumstances, you know. 
you should just be with familiar surroundings just for now. Oh, come on. If I don't feel that I have freedom of movement because of what I'm going through, it's going to be even more stress. Oh, I was looking forward to going away on a vacation like a normal person. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean to No, please, please. I want you to meet my mother. Your mother? Yes, yes. Come on. Oh, how wonderful. This is my mother, Charlotte Devane. And this is the Duchess Eugenia. It's Dimitri's aunt. Oh, it's a pleasure, Your Grace. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you. And I want to congratulate you on your daughter. You obviously have raised her wonderfully. <laughs> Thank you. Did you go for your walk yet this evening? You know, I got as far as the Rose Garden, and then I stared and stared at the most beautiful new bloom, the St. Margaret oh, Rose. Oh, yes, that's right. It's been in the Andrashi family for since the, what, the 15th century or something? Something like that. Yes, and now she's got it going here at Wildwind. Yes, I'm totally besotted by it's it. It's really gorgeous. Eugenia, why don't you show Charlotte your uh, St. Margaret Rose? Now? But, but it's dark. No, no, no. The Rose Garden is all lit up. Go on, you'll love it. Oh, yes, please come. I mean, anybody, any human being would just love to see it. Go on, Mum. Live it up. Go on. Mm. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Something tells me your mom is not overly fond of roses. She prefers vegetables. I need to speak to you. Sit down. I suppose just saying to you, please stop worrying about me isn't going to work, is it? No. It's not going to work. I mean, I like that you worry about me. But? But don't you see that... I I want you to care about me because I'm the woman you love, not because I'm some pathetic creature that needs protecting. Alex, you are the woman I love. And no matter what happens, that's not going to change. What happened at the mausoleum? It was Dimitri, wasn't it? Dimitri hadn't died. Dimitri will always be with us because we loved him. And we always will. It just can't be in the same way. But we can love each other. Yeah. But Alex... Uh... Oh, I know what you're thinking. I've been there myself, believe me. And I've said... How dare you be happy? But I'm going to be, damn it, because with all the problems I have to face, why should I give myself any more? You deserve happiness. You're right. We both do. We both do. I feel Dimitri's presence. All the time, like you did this evening. But I choose to look on it as as a good thing. Like he's telling us that it's all right that we're together. Us. It's a bit of a miracle, isn't it? my mother coming here and wanting to spend time alone with me. I mean, that's a minor miracle in itself. <clears throat> because you guys weren't close when you were growing up? Mm. And she wants to make up for it. Is that what she told you? I know it's a little late in the game, but I don't care. It makes me happy. Alex. Just postpone the trip, just for a while. Why? Because I need you. Here. With me. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I won't go. 
go until we got enough time. <laughs> I just need to hold you, okay? Okay. I need to be close to you. Just... Just for a while. Well, that was quite... Fascinating, Eugenia. Yes, but I only got to tell you about the rose up to the 18th oh, century. Excuse us. Did you reach Dr. Haywood? Ah, uh, well, they couldn't find him at the hospital, so I left a message. Well, no, you must try and find him because you're going to have to tell him about the days you're going to take off. My daughter and I are going to spend some time at a spa together. Oh, isn't that lovely? Well, actually, you know, Mother, I, I'm not going to be able to take the time, I'm afraid. No, but we will uh, treat you royally here a while when it comes. <laughs> well, I'm sure you will, Edmund. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I think we should have some teas. Would everyone join me? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a really long day, if you don't mind. I mean, would, would you walk me to my room and tuck me in? <laughs> we can have a nice long chat. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, no tea. No, um, I'd better go uh, off Alex, to bed, too. I'm sorry. Uh, you just... Talked about Hayward, it, it, it jogged my memory. About the what? hospital. Um, they were looking for Hayward and they couldn't find him, and that's why they were looking for you. Oh, they didn't say anything when I called. <sighs> it was something about that, that little girl patient of yours, uh, Karen. Uh huh. I'm scheduled to see her next week. Yeah, but they, um, uh, they, they brought her in tonight. Oh, no, she's been readmitted. Oh, how, why, how could you forget something like I'm this? I'm sorry, I, I was thinking about something else. I'm gonna have to go, Mom. I'm... Yes, darling, I understand. I wish you told me sooner. Well, how about that tea? Oh, yes, and we can finish talking about that lovely, lovely rose. Ah, uh, yes, if you wish. Come on. How about some sherry? Oh, my dear, that's a lovely ice. Oh, yeah. uh, 